So, welcome back to a comedy of terrors, Spooky's Jump Scare Mansion. <clears throat> Started to jump right in, but I, I got the screen to record proper sizing and just wanted for as long as you can remember, legends have been told about the derelict mansion. Upon the hill that casts a blanket of darkness over the town, the history of the house itself is virtually unknown. Even the town's oldest residents cannot remember the mansion's origins. Being an avid history enthusiast, you embark up the mountain to visit the Havana, hoping to shed some light on the backstory of this crumbling fortress of darkness. Whew. I had to skip it the first time through to finagle some settings. But I wanted to get it once the stream was, uh, showing gameplay. But, uh, let's begin. That is teeth. Um, okay. <coughs> I could not tell you why. Could not tell you why teeth. Get my scores. Uh, nobody. Cool. Why? Why the teeth? No, they're still there. I have no idea what's up with that. I have actually no idea what's going on with that. But uh, new game. Lawson, look around using the mouse. Enter, space, shift, sprint. Got it. Alright. Hello, I am Spooky. Hey, Spooky. Now, the last time and This of... is my home. Yep. Can you, humble player, make it through a thousand rooms? I can sure try. I don't think I'll make Where's it the whole way, but. Right, so, no more interruptions. Last time I think I watched anything about this game, I'm pretty sure it was still called Spooky's House of Jump Scares. I can't remember if the name had changed by the time Pat, Matt and Pat played it. And I think Mark may have taken a second look. I don't remember if he did and or if I watched that one. But it has uh, been quite some time since I've delved... Well, I've never delved personally. I've just watched other people do it. I remember there's an axe some point. Any minute now. And it, there's a lot more open rooms than I remember. As far as I remember, it's just, just hallways. Like, that's a rug. That's, uh, very unusual. Now this, I remember, splits in the path. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Purple room, okay. Purple's good. Good-ish. No, nothing. I need, I need to say something to fill time. Uh, I played a lot of Monster Hunter today. I tried, goddamn, did I try to fight the Arch Tempered Valkana? That thing is a bitch. Oh my god, I. They. May, maybe. Maybe just turn it. I know it's Arch Tempered, that's the whole point, but maybe. Maybe turn it down just a slight. Just a teeny bit. Maybe. Maybe take down its stun counter from. Like. A maximum of 800. It starts off at 6. Apparently normal monsters are at like 150. Like that's insane. Just tone it, down, tone it down a bit. I know like all the armor is better than Fatality. Yeah, but don't, just tone it down a bit. I don't give a shit about its armor. I just I just want my Velcana ticket. Literally, that's it. I just, I just need Velcana ticket. The worst part, I need like 
fucking, I need five of them or something. I need a few. Because you got the guild work, guild palace, and my large earplugs. And I don't want to fight that thing more than I have to. So much like that dude who I hate on Reddit who showed off how he got five tickets, four tickets in one go. I pray that if I ever kill it, he gives me more than one. Oh my kid, with my luck, I'd kill the thing and I'd get zero. I still say that, um, like, a, a neat system in Monster Hunter would be the introduction of, like, a trading system. Like, you, like, you can trade consumables, but not materials. And I feel like trading materials would be a big boon. Because, like, you can't trade it for anything less than its own rarity. Which is fair. You just have to rework the rarity system. <coughs> so that things of appropriate value are appropriately traded. And there'd be no way to game the system. Because it'd be hard locked. Like, you can only trade rarity 10 for rarity 10. Or if you combine, well, no, no, no combining low rank items to equal high rank items. Because you could easily get, like, over 500 fucking irons for rank 1, and then you would get, like, rank anything. It'd be very easy. And no. First, this place, oh, well, I thought I could take with me. First, this place just seemed cute, but I've been here for days now. I feel. I'm feeling quite parched. I keep getting this feeling like I'm being watched by something. This is not romantic at all. I gotta say, I've been rambling about Monster Hunter. I haven't encountered a single little, little, uh, uh cute thing on the wall. The little, little pop-out scares. And that's, that's unnerving me a bit, because they should have happened. I know something is following me, but I feel like I am prancing through the same rooms over and over. Hopefully leaving notes of breadcrumbs will prove that I make progress reaching some destination. Just hope I don't run out of ink. I am dreadfully thirsty. Uh, speaking of thirsty... Oh cool, I don't even have to look at the door. As long as, as, long as I am in contact and hit the enter button. But other than that, I made the buff body. Uh, I can't make the paladin armor. I mentioned this in the Monster Hunter stream this morning. Because a D&D paladin is literally just the guild palace armor set. Like, I, I googled I googled reference images for making the layered armors. And, and literally, the guild palace is just a, it's just a paladin. Though the, the, what is his name, the general? The cool dude who showed up to tell us about Fatalis. That dude's whole outfit? That's a cleric, or a priest, or just something like that. I want his robes. And I know they're not in the game, and it upsets me. Because they are so cool looking. Oh no, that's a dead end. I am... Dead. Nothing has happened, and I've almost hit 50 floors. Yeah. Keep a little pep in your step. Jeebus. Ink not quenching, not quite quenching my thirst. Tastes terrible. Stains are terrible. Oh, thank you, hello world, oh Max, for the follow. Thank you very much. Hope you're enjoying the stream. I don't think drinking it was a very romantic idea. Yeah, I would say drinking tea is not a good idea. Very bad. Uh, down it is. That was... interesting. Alright. I've heard of elevator music, but never an elevator jingle. Well, off I go. Eh, I don't know. It's, it, I, I have...
Maybe not a scream, but I'm definitely gonna get startled a bunch. It only took 50 rooms for the first jump scare. That's a big difference over the last time I saw this game. Last time I saw it was just one after another and then a big, big dry gulps between spooks. Uh, eeny, meeny, miny, moe, catch a tiger by the toe. If y'all doesn't go out, goes Y O U. This one. I don't trust myself. All right, 57. Just speed running my way to room 100. Can't scare me if I'm moving too quick. I remember what happens splish splash innards ingesting invoking nailing never stops choking yep yep there's something coming out of that pond puddle oh there's another puddle oh god that's right there's stamina why did I go that way that was pointless oh every new room I have to press the forward button again I did not know that I thought I could just hold it forever. Let me in, let me in. Oh, you're telling me, last time I played this game, like, the start of the game was those little cute jump scares, and I just went through 50 rooms of nothing. I feel like I just passed those, through those weird knob, like, uh, blockades. When will the music stop? When will the music stop? Until it stops, I am not safe. That's my opinion on this matter. That's what horror games have taught me. If you can hear the scary music, then you are going to die. And I can hear it behind me. Ah, safe. I don't trust that sound effect. Oh, cool. Thank you very much. Uh, have a good night, and I hope to hope you can tune back in sometime. Feel free to watch uh, my backlog, and if there's something you can't find, it'll be on the YouTube channel. What the hell is this? Oh, cat DOS. Uh, okay. Am I? Am I in the SCP Foundation? What the fuck is this? I am vaguely remembering this. Shit, that's right. There's more things now. Cut or board cut out. Figure that springs out from the walls. Proved not very effective against healthy subjects. That's a step up from a happy ghost. That's that's the puddle thing. Mostly semi-solid based specter that frequently changes matter states, proved very effective against weaker or slower subjects. I don't know what that is, but I hate looking at it. What is it a weird spider? Infectious bites, probably. Test specimen being developed at GL Labs should prove useful when released. Trials have shown it's adequately effective to average subjects. Right? Man, I think I need to blow my nose or something. Yeah, it was something. I just like I blew my nose and choked on the flow of air somehow turned into Cody uh that ghost looks oddly familiar I don't like it 14th century spirit that was contained and relocated here tests have yet to reveal origins but all relevant information has been placed in the testing chamber proved effective but not greatly more than previous specimens that's not 
good modif modify house layout. Uh, of course. Broken computator. Oh shit, arcade games. Yeah! Yeah! We got him! The world is a safer place now, thanks to me. No, not you, Bixby. Shut up. Oh yeah, I'm not. I'm not gonna say anything too uh, definitive because I'm not sure. But possibly come November, I will have obtained something cool, which will equal more cool content for the channel. What is this? Mall of the Spook. I did not press enter. Yeah. Yeah. My word. This guy's head explodes. You suck out her soul. You just slit that one lady's throat. Oh, you beheaded her. Oh, damn. Oh, oh I'm gonna get the high score. It's honestly kind of loud. But I... At least it's not horrible to listen to. Yeah, 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 high score, high score, come on. Oh, it's proximity. So as long as you kill someone near someone else, it'll count for them too. Interesting. Oh, game over. Yeah. Now, as in a mature adult, what should I put for my new high score? Yes. How dare you, my joke was better. And uh... This one's a nightmare. Perfect. Well, I think I've done that room's purpose. Played the games, got the high score. Murdered Pac-Man. I also don't think you can play the Pac-Man game again. I think it's a one-time deal because you literally murdered him. Oh. Nope. Nope. I recall. That I'm an idiot. That's right. You get chased through here by... Like, a fucking ghost that is literally just floating. Alright. Two lefts. Why, if I'm not mistaken? Didn't like that. Didn't like that. Didn't... Did I get... Did I get flipped up, turned upside down? Did... found something today to satisfy my unromantic thirst. I woke today from a brief faint and found a, before me a bottle of red wine. Not sure what brand or year, for there is no label. All I gather is that it tastes strongly metallic. That's blood. That's just blood. You, you drank a bottle of blood. My question, 
Who's storing their blood in wine bottles? That's not gonna keep the blood fresh. Was it you? Was it your blood wine? It's gonna go sour. You gotta store it. Well... Technically speaking, how is a wine bottle any different from like a beaker with a cork in it? Yeah, yeah I suppose that's fair. That is, that is a good point, me. Spooky, aren't you supposed to show up here and be like, good job, you did it? I don't think that was what, yeah, no, I don't. Got, got, I agree with you on that one. Five rooms, and I'm, uh, I'll be at the elevator again. And look at that, a hundred rooms in half an hour. Or 25 minutes? Ah! Curse you, happy ghost! Oh, eat my entire ass! Oh, fuck you! Oh, I. Oh, God. I'd forgotten about the tiny ones. I forgot about the cute scares. I was so focused on avoiding the spooky demons that lay in about that I forgot about the wall poppers. Hello, cute cat in the box. Oh, I've been destroyed. I don't know how much longer I can go on. I haven't seen any notes, any of my previous notes. It means either I'm getting somewhere or someone's taking them. And I can't tell you which it is. Just, just take me down. Uh, that that is the true way to like get a perfect scare is pump up the atmosphere with tension and then just throw in one of the dumb bullshit scares from the beginning when they're least expecting it and they can't get mad because it's like dude this has been here since the beginning it's your fault you got scared at a non jump scare <laughs> it's like perfect subterfuge it's a brilliant subversion of expectations. I also love the Resident Evil door opening uh, reference. It's great. Minecraft. I really need to play more Minecraft, but like, uh, it's Minecraft is such time-consuming, and I got oh. So Listen here, goo ghost. But like, I got farming and world. The w the worst part is that the amount I need a lot of research commission tickets plus, and there's like three quests that give it out four, and uh, two of them aren't guaranteed. Uh, to get it. One of them is something. Who cares? Oh no, I remember. It's the Arch-Tempered Namiel. The Arch-Tempered Velcana. And the, uh... uh who, what's his fucking name? Uh... I don't remember. But, the ones that give it out... I think this is gonna last. No, I'm gonna die before I ever what's to place my escape from everything. And then my death is kind of romantic. Now you see, watching a let's play of a game a long time ago can actually influence you negatively. Because I had watched Mark play that, which is why I went two lefts. Because I'm like, I remember, it tricked him. Unfortunately, I didn't realize my own foolishness. Which is, the second one tricked him because he went left twice. Nope. Why is there a film grain on everything but the room number? And, uh... Oh, it's gone now. 
That's concerning. What a da 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 ba da ba do. Room one twenty. Wait. Oh fuck! Wait. Is it? Wait. Wait. What the shit did? I'm trying to remember now. What did Matt and Pat play? That's a dinosaur skull. That's just objectively cool. Um. Because now that I'm thinking on it. They played like a Spooky's House of Jump Scares game game. Where like they were in a hospital or something. I think? Was that spooky? I don't remember. Subject 5 is growing more restless, told Spook we need more funds for sedatives. She just laughed and flew into the ceiling without more chemicals to keep these things docile. I'm not sure how much longer we can keep them here. Well, I mean, they're floating heads, so, uh... Sh shouldn't pose too much danger, right? Don't like that. Oh! Oh, it's behind me! Oh god, spider holes in the ceilings. Oh, that's bad. Don't like it, don't care. No, 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 thanks. to go just just keep going until the fucking ceiling holes disappear oh it's bad why why do I keep thinking of that movie I watched on Hulu called phase five where some rock in space did a thing and then ants became really really smart why do I keep thinking of that movie it was an interesting movie didn't care for the ending it didn't make much sense I that noise how it has rushing up behind me and then just that's the sound of something appearing behind you and then vanishing That is the most unsettling noise that could appear behind your head. I hate it. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. Oh, I really don't like that. I cannot express how much I dislike the... The gradually increasing sound from behind until it reaches directly behind you and then just stops. Because <coughs> it implies something has appeared behind you and then just stopped being behind you. Which is terrifying for the fact of, oh, it stopped being behind me? That it could just be in front of me then. It can just come and it can just appear and re disappear at will. I can't fight that. Hey, Poet Skeleton. I don't know if your death was romantic, but that's... And sexy post skill, I'd give that like a... 5 out of 10, I guess. No note. Hang in there, cat. You seem nonplussed about your predicament. I think you're just doing pull-ups. They're showing off. Well, looky there. Half an hour? It's only been like, I uh, do math in my brain. Eight minutes. And look at me. I'm already at room 150. 
so if my math is correct, and I keep at this current speed, and no unexpected things happen, by the one hour mark, I sh I should be, I don't know where because I'm bad at head math. My technique of just tap the butt like what I did with uh, Terror Lab in the flashlight of just rapidly blink it to get quick boost of speed doesn't work because it has a cost like you use sprint it costs a chunk before the sprint will activate so as a taxation every time you hit sprint it takes like 5% off the top ah oh, just liquid boy Let's just get a good look at him. Yeah, there he is. If a uh, spider tron shows back up, I'll turn around for that one too. That's too busy panicking to do it. Yeah, but he's he's just like a weird slime ghost. Just passing through walls and stuff. At what is Oh no. I. I listen. I didn't sign up to play a Japanese horror game. I didn't sign up for this. Isn't the. And there, I did not sign up to play. I did not sign up to play. Like fucking Silent Hill or something. That's a no from me. If it were really true, I thought the fairy tales about ghosts that eat swim are sneaking after class. Deep is disappearing, but Matsuri's still missing. I really don't remember this. Why well, don't remember this at all? <laughs> Oh no! I don't like that music! No. Words. Bad in my brain. I can hear them with my ears. Take away your school chimes. The day is over. You need not play the music. I'm going home. Yeah, this is the one. This is the one. I feel like I've taken the dead end. Ah, oh, piss. Ah! Uh, I didn't juke hard enough. I thought I gave her a clear berth. Goes over and going home. Take your cool cursed school chime with you. Or wait, no, hold on. Ow. <clears throat> Only 20 rooms left, and I'll make it. <coughs> I don't trust you, Silence. You've betrayed me before. You'll betray me again. He's gonna throw one of them fucking cutes. Cutes and get jump scares at me. I know I can feel it in my bones. It's coming. I can taste it. Is that the section I was thinking of? I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to rewatch the best friends uh, shitstorm of this afterwards. Cause I feel like I'm going crazy. Am I remembering a totally different game? 
or did Spooky make like a spin-off game? I can't remember. I'm so glad I was lost in thought because I didn't even notice that until it had, it had already passed. I'm like that, that, that ching sound. That clack? I don't know what you'd categorize it as. Didn't like it. Did not like it. One room. That's nice and short. Oh. This place is finally starting to affect me. I've seen enough horror movies to know how to survive a simple ghost or two. But these monsters keep getting faster and stranger. Well, no, I've read up on them. I don't think they have a faster speed. Pretty sure it's standard. Ghosts go through wall. Ghosts go through door. Spider thing drop down from ceiling. Raptor heads do nothing. See? Pretty standard stuff. Well, look at that. 40 minutes from 200? Yeah, I'm not gonna hit a thousand. I'm not sure if I've ever seen anyone hit a thousand. Maybe someday I'll do it myself. Maybe someday. But for now, just one room after another. I vaguely remember. Is this the floor? You're doing it again, game. Is this the floor with McDonald's? Because, like, there's two things, and only two things I remember from the last time I watched Markiplier play this. And that's McDonald's and outside with an axe. Oh no, I just realized the music's playing. It, huh. Oh great. Oh, before I was in like white days, now I'm in silent now I'm in Silent Hill. This that was a Silent Hill door. Of course it's broken. Wouldn't be Silent Hill if all the doors weren't broken. Darkness is slowly consuming us. Don't think our rituals will appease it much longer. How are we supposed to know this will happen? You're doing rituals to a thing that needs rituals to be appeased. It's simple math. Don't do that. It's bad. You'll probably die and be consumed. That's... cool and also awful. It's not our, really our fault. We just did what Mother has told us to do in this sort of situation. Like, like you fucked up and you're like, oh god, what should we do? It's like, what did mom always tell us? Or is it, well, mother told us to do this. Because the second one's creepier. Nope. Nope. Yeah, it's the second one. Mother is not pleased with us, but how were we supposed to know the girl wasn't pure? Run a background check, I guess. Oh, hey, Han. What are, what are you doing here? Now, I'm about to say something that might be a bit con but you know, a bit controversial, but you know how in, like, horror movies, it's like the cult needs a pure vir- like, an untouched virgin for whatever weird scheme they got going? It's like our dark lord requires a virgin, one who's never fucked. And my question is, well, as far as I'm aware, they're, like, gonna kill them, right? They're just, like, gonna eat their body and suck out their soul or something? I apologize. But, uh, like that room just said for me. If that's all you need, just get a baby. Odds are it fills all the requirements. And it can't fight its way out of your weird cult ritual. Nope, that's a Silent Hill mannequin. With what I think is a big knife. Oh! 
God, is this room? Oh, I f Turning around is a bad idea. Do not do it. You will get actually lost. Because once the room starts shifting... It... Oh, it's just you. I thought... I thought it was... What? Oh, Jesus! I thought I had gone through. Once the room starts shifting, it's hard to tell which way is what, because everything's literally all the same, and also moving. Twenty-four. We're getting close. Getting close to two fifty. Once two fifty, we'll be safe. Safe in an elevator. I'm gonna be honest. The elevator worries me. Cause ever since that uh, one elevator in Dead Space Two was it? I think it was two. Yeah, it was Dead Space Two. Ever since that one elevator, where um, you went in and it's like, the elevator's safe, I punked myself. Joke's on that mannequin, it can't fly. But um, or was that one of the, no it was an elevator. Yeah, you get an elevator and... What? Uh, what the sh? What is hap? What is my my brain broke? Uh, yeah. I'm not gonna lie, that one actually kind of hurt my brain. But you get in that one elevator in Dead Space Two, and it's like, oh, we're safe. And then like the Necromorph just doesn't care and attacks you anyway, th breaking through the elevator. And that's terrifying, because it's like, it's it's the implication, like, when uh, the RE3 make was coming out. Or, no, the RE2 make. Ew. You're not as cute. I don't like you anymore. And uh, there was a rumor going around that uh, on harder difficulties, like on the hardest difficulty, Mr. X can just follow you into the safe room. And I heard that, and I was like... If that is true, I'm not buying the game. That's t even if I don't play that difficulty. That's scary. That's scary as hell. Cause that's just the idea that this is a safe place in a game full of terror and scares. This is my one safe spot. Wait. Forget what I'm saying. Has every split have one locked door? Is that true? Hey! The fork, some dude. I don't know, that guy looks kind of familiar. No idea who that is. Was this like developers? I don't know who those people were. Maybe I should. Ow! We're right there. Uh. It's that one. Dead center in the screen, the little T junction. With the leg going off to the right. That's where we are. Now you know. But, um, I forget what I was saying. Hey, Spooky. You made it this far. I did. That's, uh, that's great. Yeah. I shall grant you a gift. Oh, boy. Progress. Is it macaroni and cheese? So just keep going. I like your self portraits. Very nice. Mac and cheese. Mac and cheese. Mac and cheese. That's not mac and cheese. Password pumpkin. Well. Uh, room 250 and... Uh, I am approaching the hour mark. So...
because I have very mild OCD, I like the number 250 and I want it to end on that. Because it's nice and even. It's a very good number 250. That's some bullshit, like, if I kept going at, like, 263. Not 260, 260, 267, that'd be nonsense. So, I'm going to call it here. I hope you enjoyed the stream. Uh, once again, a thank you to Hello World on Max for the follow. Uh, and much like him, if you enjoyed, please leave a follow if you're watching live on Twitch. And if you're on the YouTube channel, please hit that subscribe button and ring that bell. But, um, and tomorrow morning, I don't think I'll be getting a stream in tomorrow morning. I do have a lot of chores I need to do early in the morning. And then my afternoon is booked solid. But I will be back for another 9 p.m. Though I don't know what I'm going to do. I'll probably be getting home just in time to start up the stream. Oof. I've contemplated Dead by Daylight and then I realized it's nowhere near as fun if you're doing it just by yourself. Part of the fun of that game is screaming at your friends to either save your ass or not to kill you. So I'll, f I'll figure out something. Maybe I can get Cody and Meredith to download a secret laboratory and we can play that. But uh, I think that's just about it. Once again, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please tune in next time. And as always, have a good rest of your whenever. And goodbye.